Hi there, welcome to module 7. So this module is dedicated to introduce you to very basic programming, okay? Remember, this is an introductory training, so it's better to master essential skills on them programming. So here we're going to introduce you how to do basic programming to implement your own boundary conditions and also your initial conditions, okay? So we're going to use something called code string that it will let you program directly in the dictionaries where you need to implement your initial boundary conditions. So it's, it is the easiest way to implement a boundary condition in case that you don't find the boundary condition that you need, you know, in the pool of functions that you, you have available in open phone. I want to point out that you have a supplement with this slice where we talk in more details, okay, about some <clears throat> more advanced topics for, uh, on, on programming, but I'm not going to address that. We're going just to focus in this very uh, introductory <clears throat> boundary conditions and um, programming, you no. Know, directly in the dictionaries. So some highlights about code string that in open phone, there, there, there are many boundary conditions available, okay? But it might happen that you don't find what you are looking for. So it is possible to implement your, your own boundary conditions. So as you have the source code in theory, you can do whatever you want, okay? So to implement boundary conditions, you have three options, okay? You can use call string, what we're going to do now. You can use high level programming, okay? That is the hardest way. And this is in the supplement you have there some guidelines how to do it, and I'm not going to talk about this. Or you can use external libraries like Swag for Fun, okay? Also, I'm not going to address this one because it's not directly supported now by the open phone developers, but it's a really good library, okay? And it's super easy to implement. It's the easiest way. However, it's not directly supported. So we're going to use code string that basically will let you directly program in the dictionaries. Okay, so you are going to have kind of a body template and then there is a small section of that template where you will program all your, your, your own boundary conditions. You can do the same with uh, initial conditions. Okay, so we know that we can use set fields to initialize values, okay? Or also we can use STL file. So in theory, you can do pretty much everything, but it might happen that whatever you want to do, you cannot you do it using Cephal or STL files, or probably it's too difficult. So again, you can program your own initial conditions. So you can use the three same levels of from one of the conditions, called the street, high level programming, or using swap for fonts. Here we're going to focus in call string and pretty much it's the same. You're in the same section where you define your initial conditions, you can put there a template and then you can program your, your own function. So as I said, remember that in the in the slides, you now in the deck of slides, you are going to have a supplemental slide set where we address now building blocks, implementing boundary conditions and initial conditions using high level programming. Okay, implementing an application from scratch and adding adding uh, the scalar transport equations to icophone or any other solver. Okay, so this is the, the, the difficult, the hard way. Now, if you want to go into details, I'm not going to, to prepare anything about this because for our interest, I think uh, code string, we're going to manage to, to do everything. But if you are curious, if you want to go deeper into details, you have that. And also we can meet during the Q&A session and address a little bit that. Honestly, I have to tell you, I don't recall the last time I programmed something in Open. Okay, as, as it is today, most of this is now already implemented, okay? The last development that I did was in turbulence modeling. I still am doing something on that because the specific turbulence models, but the, all the basic stuff is already there, so you don't need to program much in open form. So that's all with the introduction, okay? So see you in the next videos where I'm going to introduce a few tutorials now for boundary conditions and initial, condi initial conditions. Thank you for your attention and bye.